talks to me like that again. Get him while he's sleeping. I'll poison his meat. See how he likes that. <laughs> Tell you what, you start running, so I can stab you in the back. I serve. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. A few drinks, a few laughs, and a contest. What could be better? Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. One down, my friend, one down. And another one for me. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Wow, you've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. I see. So, you don't remember fondling the statuary, then? I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Oh, I'd love to help you figure it out, but I'm so busy cleaning up the mess you made of our temple. Now, if you were to help tidy up and perhaps apologize afterwards, I might be able to help you. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness after all. Even for a drunk like you. You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. 
Maybe you should take a look there. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. You can... The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. You'll have to come back another time. Is there something I can do for you? Should have come here. They're just highly no overrated. I yield. I yield. The old gods give me strength. I guess it's all clear now. By the divines, the Forceborn are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markor city guard have this all under control. There are no Forceborn here. He was after Margaret. Why? Attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Damn. Another body to get rid of. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. soil in the hole. When you're rich, you can waste as much money as you like on far-fetched business ideas. In the meantime, you. there's a You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Is that so? Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The star beauty of my farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? You better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. 
You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. You mentioned something like that when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. You didn't seem to need either to sell Gleda to the giant in the first place. I think you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And you have them to deal with. You hear from the city? I'm glad her. I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day. I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even, as long as you bring back the wedding ring? That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. I'm sure your bride-to-be will tell you when and where the ceremony will be. If she still wants to marry you when you tell her you can't afford the ring. Farewell.
You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see... I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. And you did just that. I haven't been so entertained in at least a hundred years. Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. 
This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure. But I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Come on in. Drinks and warm beds. Ah, the sweet smell of burnt flesh. Nothing better, really. They die too quickly. Maybe I'll try and hold off on the paralysis next time. Give me more of a moving target. 